right, all right, all right. How's it going? Oh, let's do that. Mm, yes, oh yes, look at that. Let's do it. Almost, it's almost time, people. It's almost time. Not yet, because I will add this text too. I wonder if it work is working. Is my stream on? It seems to be working. Hey, Fuxia. What's up? How's it going? Zelin Stonic Atsgi. Soon it is. Oh, soon it is oh, sign up time. And over the weekend, I will invite judges. And I'm I am collaborating with Fight Milk. Um, I'm collaborating with Fight Milk to do the intro to um or the the um, kickoff kickoff movie for uh unreal Tournament three is uh it'll be cool it'll be really cool i'm i'm pumped i think uh, i think i hope fight milk is pumped um, it's cool stuff uh fuchsia yes sign up is coming soon um i had a preview of the code uh, yesterday uh, Spiridon showed me it's gonna be nice uh, how it's gonna be on is that um, you need a profile obviously on the forum um, and you sign up with your profile and we'll see the profile uh, avatars with your name and if you uh, lose or withdraw you'll be striked out uh, so it's all automated and uh, I don't need to sit and do, you know, all that extra stuff. It's just going to be very clear now with the uh, sign up process. And it's going to have, we capped it, capped it at 100, 100 artists, because otherwise it would, we can end up with a year of competition. And I don't have a year of competition the time to, to sit and fiddle with all that. So I'm going to cap it at 100 and uh, see how that goes hopefully we'll get 100 this year but yeah sign up soon there this year there won't be losers uh, the comeback bracket i'm gonna um, i'm gonna remove that feature uh, this year and see how it goes i could always bring it back next year but uh, for the time being, I want to get a sense of what that change does to the competition. Hey, Stig, yes. <laughs> Alt high. If I can draw a circle, sure. Circle. I'm looking at OBS, by the way, when I'm doing my circle. I'm not even looking at my hand. I'm that elite. <laughs> All right, what, what kind of monster uh, should I draw? I feel like another day, another monster. So please do tell me. Yesterday I painted a cave dweller, AKA troglodyte. Um, what's your suggestions that I should draw today? 
What kind of monster? Do tell me. First come, first serve today. I'm calling it. First come, first serve. Whatever you say, I'm going to draw. I'll tie. <laughs> oh, I wonder. All right. Like that, you mean? Or like that? <laughs> Schoolyard. Sense of humor there. Hey, boss, how's it going? A tree hopper. All right, Stonic, you get it. Tree hopper. Tree hopper. All right, what? Altai, no. Um, so tree hopper. Instantly, what came to mind was like a ninja. Uh, actually, let me. Um, I want to do light. So what came to mind was like a ninja sitting, um, quite agile, obviously. Uh, with with long long hands and um like insectoid ish um and uh, secondary arms so it can climb i mean it's going to it's going to make more sense soon <laughs> and uh yeah, the, the MO of this creature is uh, it lobs the heads of people. So in my mind, it was like a um, scythes of sort, but let's have them, let's have them operated into the body. I think that could be cool, like um, forced in there or, or um, nails or something rather than uh, just insectoids. Oh, yeah. Hey, Rock Noise Studios, thanks for the, for the sub, man. You got your baby number nine. Now you got a warm up baby. Take care of it. Make it grow. Right. Oh, I forgot the timer. Okay, let's do minus three minutes. So that's 27. Let's start. Stop, start. Right. Yeah, so hopefully the 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 changes to um, Unreal Bjornament won't be too harsh that you guys won't have um, um, comeback. I think I think potentially that'll be better. It will be less work for the judges. Um, what I I think what I will miss though is the whole. Um, coming back from the dead and, and potentially winning, you know, like stealing the show. I, I think that's a little bit of a shame that it will lost, be lost. Maybe what I could do just to kind of get back to that is maybe um, a voting system. Like who deserves, but that's going to be, nah, that's never good. That's never good. 
Captain Ball is no, no, no comeback bracket this year. Uh, Zealin, yeah, both time the winner um, came from the comeback bracket. Altai, um, Unreal Bjornament, as you can see on the banner there, it is a art art competition I've I've done now. This is going to be the third year, and it's um, one versus one art battle based on a theme on, and rounds. So uh, each round you get a theme, and then two weeks to do something, and then there is a panel of judges who will. Um, give feedback and vote on who won between the two and then the winner moves on to the next round uh, last year there were 100 artists and they got some sweet um, prizes um, this year I'm gonna really potentially there will be an iPad Pro as a reward I need to verify that I need to send out all those prize emails um, this weekend but uh, we almost got the iPad last year uh, but it was a little bit too last uh, in the last second um, but we'll see we'll see uh, hopefully we'll I mean I know we're gonna get some sweet ass prizes uh, for a fun uh, art competition uh, there's going to be art books for sure most likely some maybe um, some other prizes definitely uh, we'll see if we if I don't find any sponsors for presents or prizes I'll throw some some I'll buy something <laughs> as a thank you Uh, I'll tie why I use a square brush um, the brush itself has texture to it and you can uh, make the square act round but it, it can also give you a nice edge control depending on how you how you use the use the brush uh, that's why I, I use a square brush most of the time I, I switch between certain brushes though just because um, if you if you imagine drawing with a pen and paper and uh, in, with a normal uh, lead pencil um, you might want to rub your finger on the on the lead so it smudges right or you can erase it in a little bit or you can uh, you know put the pen on the side or the the sharpest tip it, it just gives you a little bit more um, variety and control over what's happening and a lot more aesthetically pleasing to look at because uh, I think that's the downside of digital it's that it's, it's absolutely kind of binary input is either on or off in that sense and when you, with custom brushes or textured brushes you add some of that kind of randomness or the um, happy accidents if you may of reality on on a on a textured paper with a graphite that's not 100 percent pure the edge gets worn down and all these things right it all all these things as variation and, and life to it so with digital kind of you, you got to force that manipulate that in to the picture otherwise it's going to be very rigid and, and uh, kind of the sense of artificial you know uh, so by by having a textured brush that's not perfectly square or perfectly round um, you can layer happy accidents that's for example for example why I do a lot of that sometimes 
is that when I do then a brush on top of it, there's going to be a lot of residue um, information within it. And you can get a lot of nice uh, like textural effects uh, that way by by just manipulating the the kind of cleanliness of digital art. Hey there, Bart, how's it going? How's it going? I feel like I just got something from. Oh shit. Someone is raiding. Who is raiding? One second and we'll have a look. Who raided? Shaman! Thank you for that raid. Welcome all you new people. All five of you. <laughs> How's it going? How was your stream, Shaman? Did you draw something beautiful? Welcome Raiders and welcome Shaman or Shaman. Today I'm drawing random topic of Stonic and he said a tree hopper. So I'm making this up on the fly uh, in 30 minutes. So uh, it is a little bit of, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> a case of whatever happens, happens. But so far, so good, touch wood. And I'm designing some sort of, what, what instantly came to mind when I heard the word tree hopper, because I have no idea what it actually is. Uh, I had this like, mental image of a ninja jumping from tree to tree, but then I said, thought, you know, it's going to be a creature or a monster. So I added, it it cuts heads off as it's jumping in between trees and trees. Like if uh, a, a, a noble knight is is uh, riding through the woods, right? This this tree hopper can just kind of jump past him and lob his head off. Hey, Shaman. Yeah, I only have time for half an hour because I've introduced this half an hour mandatory at the studio uh, where I'm a lead or art director. And um, I've introduced this mandatory 30 minutes of draw whatever you want. And then after you've drawn whatever you want, we start tackling client work uh, to kind of get you our uh, get yourself warm in the clothes, you know, so that you're not uh, scared of um, drawing cool shit for the client and it gives you this opportunity to explore themes and techniques and so on and uh, it's really beneficial hey Yggdrasil welcome back a long time ago the top horns or arms I mean the idea right uh, that i had it's, it has this kind of mandible arms or uh, mantis arms of sorts and then it has smaller arms that it um, catches on you know branches and stuff with all right what's happening what's happening there's a lot yggdral is hosting thank you very much sir or ma'am clifford well <laughs> it's a great routine and it helps a lot. You're at school, Frox? That's awesome. Oh, wow. Well, Voodoo breakfast. 18 months. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. That's crazy. Thanks for the support, man. Shaman. Oh, well, that's great. That's great. That's what. That's uh, exactly one of the reasons why I have fun playing with um, different techniques and and methods of of painting. Uh, is to just show you know that it's okay to experiment. I only devote half an hour to these experiments. You know, win or fail, it doesn't matter. 
but what I get out of it is the kind of monumental gains of um, experimenting with new techniques, experimenting with new subjects, playing around. And it's like, it's a lot more, more like the way it used to be when you were a kid and was drawing, right? You had pen and paper and this almost endless possibilities of, of, you know, what can I draw with these crayons? And, and it makes it so much more fun and exciting when, when you're not um, feeling the pressure that you have to do something perfect. You can just have fun, you know? Like now, I have no idea what I'm drawing. A tree hopper, I'm making it up as I go along, kind of trying to, to make it interesting to look at, but also not, you know, just trying to, to have fun uh, testing things out and seeing what happens if I, you know, do this, what happens if I do that. Granted, this technique that I'm using now, which I call <laughs> lights only, um, I've done before, so it's not fully exploration, uh, but it's more of like, I have no idea what the design looks like, so I'm I'm making it up as I go along. Uh, stitch. Uh, you can share it as long as it's uh, safe for work because a lot of people are at school and uh, at work and so on. And um, in general, the general rule that you should consider is it's okay to share anything as long as it's safe for anyone to click on. Um, my general rule personally is that I, I tend to try not to click on links uh, while streaming unless I kind of know the artist um, or I trust the artist because you don't want to, you know, be trolled. <laughs> A Voodoo Breakfast. Oh, really? That's nice. Uh, by the way, for all you new people, as you can see by the banner, bottom right, is uh, an art tournament starts in starts March 1st. And um, there is a sign-up period before that uh, coming quite soon. And um, it's a knockout art competition. Last year, we were over 100 artists. Uh, this year, we're capping it at 100 artists. I don't want to grow it larger than 100 artists uh, a competition, uh, but it's an extremely good opportunity to practice your finishing skills. You have two weeks per round to finish a painting based on a topic, uh, and you are head to head against another artist of random pairing, and then the winner moves on. And it's the whole idea of uh, um, uh, diamond is made through pressure, right? It, it makes you have to apply yourself. It's a fantastic way of um, learning and you upping your game, you know? Strongly recommend you join. When the sign up is ready, I will announce it when it's ready. So don't worry too much. <laughs> It's coming. I got, like I said at the beginning of the stream, I got a um, preview of the code. We're gonna have it all run on the website, so. Stitch, that's pretty cool. A Medusa. Pretty cool. Uh, Clifford, it's um, you don't need to be in in any certain uh, skill level. Every year, the previous two years, we've had artists of very varying uh, skill sets, and uh, and it doesn't matter. It's go it's all going to be fun, 
and it's all for for upping your game and improving but one thing I, I can guarantee you that majority of all artists took away was the in very rapid progress in 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 use of their skills because it's very different atmosphere from sketching it for yourself or working on your portfolio piece versus battling it out uh, against another artist uh, uh, publicly and all that so it's a really cool um, way of forcing yourself to come up with some cool stuff and uh, I also have seen a lot of artists uh, that participated are using their competition uh, entries as portfolio pieces just because of that fact that they they um, they up their game so much you know for the competition that it's actually there's some takeaway in it and also uh, I mean in, if you make it to the end there is a uh, there's prizes you know. Who doesn't like free stuff? Uh, Clifford, uh, theoretically, no. You're not limited to 2D. If you want to do 3D or clay or whatever, go ahead. But, um, you know, what I always try to, to tell people is like, if you, whatever you do, make sure that, you know, if even if it's a simple idea, uh, a simple idea done really really well will trump a very complicated picture done mediocre mediocre uh, in a mediocre way right so if you're gonna like oh i'm gonna do 3d on a on, for two weeks go ahead but just realize that um you know you might lose if you don't if you're not able to pull it off you know versus someone doing 2d uh, that might not need to do a perfect model and uh, can whip out some cool stuff you know it's all down to who you are as an artist if you want to use 3d or not the judges don't care uh, what the judge is going to look at is not like the fidelity of the model, like, oh, nice UV mesh. <laughs> They're just going to look at the illustration. And if that's 3D or 2D, it's, it's arbitrary. Uh, Gria, yeah, exactly. If you... The, if the idea trumps skill, you can win over a significantly more skilled artist. And it happened more than once in these uh, previous two years of doing the art competition, which I absolutely loved. Um, it was like some up, some uh, up, what's it called? Not upset. Uproar? No, upset. Is it called an upset? Shit, I can't remember the word. Anyways, it was some really cool, like, I think, as, as I remember, Pur Purmia won over someone, slayed someone completely. And then, oh man, I can't remember. There was some really cool moments. Uh, you get two weeks per round. And then one week, the judges will look at your work and vote. And then, so you get a one week of break. You know, you can brush your teeth, have a shower. <laughs> then it's then while that w that week the judges deliberate um uh, you know nothing happens in the competition then i an an i announce the winners uh, who's up against who and the next round and every every round 
the judges will uh, write comments, feedback of why they won, why you lost, uh, so on. Uh, so there's like some con some education behind it, you know. So you you will be able to take away something and and, and improve as an artist, um, and not just you lost, you won. So e e every competition gets uh, feedback. Every competitor gets feedback, sorry. Upset, yeah, I guess. And like I said uh, on a previous discussion about uh, what, t uh, what the materials you can use. You can use 3D, a 2D, but also like um, Slumpen and Atsuki here, they did all pencil on paper, photographed and scanned and fixed. They, I don't think they did a single uh, digital piece, as, except, you know, like touch-ups and changes and things like that. But they got pretty far, actually. I think Slumpen got to um, semifinals year one, something like that. On pencil only. Uh, this year there won't be um, a, a comeback bracket. Clifford, photo textures are allowed. Anything is allowed, except you know ripping people off or cheating or uh, stealing someone else's artwork. Uh, that's why, for example, work in progress updates are not mandatory, but they are appreciated. But when you do post the final work, uh, work in progress shots are mandatory to show you that, show us that <laughs> you've done the work, you know, and not just right click save as. No comeback bracket, uh, dear Bard, this year. I want to see what that changes to the dynamics of the competition. And I also want, because I sense that some people are post potentially just, ah, comeback bracket, I have a chance to, I don't care, I can maybe come back. And without the comeback bracket, it's a little bit more serious, you know. But I also miss the chance of ha someone being still in the competition and uh, have a chance to come back that, that I'm going to uh, miss this year because personally I, I like it. Um, but I just wanted to experiment this year and see what, what, what happens without the comeback bracket. I can always reintroduce it next year, you know. A voodoo breakfast. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Show show that you actually is yours, you know, that you understand what you're doing and so on. But yeah, I'm excited. Unreal Bjornament 3, we got the hype tri trailer in the works. Me and uh, Fight Milk working hard on the, the kickoff, kickoff trailer. <sighs> Looking really cool. Fight Milk is really, really hard at work. It looks really cool. Props to Fight Milk for helping out.
but yeah, it's um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pumped for Unreal Tournament Three. It's gonna be really fun to see all that hard work from you guys and the and the entries and what you do with the topic each round. Ah, oh, man, it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be great. Hey Clifford. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It is what it is, you know. You can't really do that much in 30 minutes. But it's a, it's it's good fun at the same time that as we chat or reading the, you know. It works. I love the the whole idea of sketching something together with you uh, and uh, reading the chat and having a fun warm-up. And now I'm definitely ready, you know to go and do some work. Now I've exercised the demons. <laughs> I mean, I could definitely have done more, but uh, for 30 minutes, it's okay. It's good fun. Clifford, well, this is my fifth year of doing daily warm-ups on stream, so <laughs> maybe I've done, I've easily done over a thousand warm-ups. And uh, if you go back into the YouTube archive, season one is not the same as season five. Practice makes perfect. Would your breakfast have a great one, uh, Miguel? I might actually stream. Uh, we'll see. I might actually have time for streaming. Who knows? <coughs> but that's this is it. This is what we ended up with today. We ended up with Tree Hopper. Uh, Gria, yeah, I mean, I could do it. I could do it. I could do like a season two hall uh, entry post, probably. Um, I don't enjoy that. All right. Uh, let's find someone to raid, to pass the gauntlet on to. Come on. Who's online? Who's on the line? <laughs> What's Kiro Kerosene doing? Some fire. That's pretty cool. Let's raid her. We're going to raid Kiro Kerosene. She's doing some character design, like half fire, half woman. That's pretty cool. Um, thanks for all the subs and the raids and the hosts. Super appreciated. Uh, thanks for the discussions about Unreal Bjornament. Um Yeah, all that good stuff. So let's go to Kara Kerosene, give her some support. Uh, she seems to be a really cool artist. So have a great weekend. See you on Monday for Study Monday. Uh, outro, then raid. Good night. Have a great day.